Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mail. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. Uh... <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way. Find the entrance to the storm drain. Here we go. Breathe in. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Freaking what? Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Oh, see the, the cross. Man, you're gonna have somebody get hurt going that way. I mean, it's probably gonna happen either way, but I think mitigation is key. Let's keep this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay. We just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Hop on over. <laughs> Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero. Here we get over there. Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. He had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh other movie we were just batting some ideas around just spitballing cool uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time totally yeah i have no idea how you get over there because i don't wait can she squeeze through here no it's not giving you an option there's got to be a way around there I don't know. Of course, we don't have a flashlight either. If there's no... That's so odd. There's no path. We may have to skip it, because... Oh, wait. This is it. Linda's standing there. She pretty much was giving me a hint. I just didn't see it. Six of twelve? Oh, man. That means we missed four and five somewhere.
It's my dad. Everybody, hide. Anyone there? Ugh, getting too old for this. He won't come back this way again. Let's go. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. All right, that that was shining, so I was just curious if there was anything there. There's a creek in between the whole way, so we can't go anywhere else. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but... At least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> oh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. Find a way into the mill. So I wonder if you went the cross direction, if that had any trinkets over there. I'm assuming Robert didn't get the flashlights out earlier because of his dad. Probably a smart move. When we were at the drugstore and he came out. By now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. Well, should we go? I didn't want to cut the conversation off, but I feel like there might be something. Oh, not that thing. Who would have left this here? But when the when she was at the drugstore and Robert came out, I was I was just thinking he has to be Sheriff Green's son. He looked just like him. All right, so with the trinkets, I'm curious. Yeah, so we missed those two. So we have that. Uh, I don't want to go through there if I don't. 
feel like I might miss stuff. Let's see what's over here first. Since we can at least go back. Oh, he's there. So we have to go that way if he's waiting on us. Alright, let's see what this door does. I don't really want to get split up though either. It's probably going to be locked. Oh, never mind. I'm not sure about Linda's new seam. But if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Yeah, probably. All right, another door. Are we going to be able to get back to him? Huh, a little old key. Casting shed. All right, might come in handy. Back to Robert. All right, well, hang on, because... What does this do? All right, that one's closed. So that was just to get the key, then. As I've been saying, he showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. No shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. There's so much to explore in here. <sighs> yeah, I forgot. Most of the doors down here don't have handles on them. There's probably nothing up here, unless it's just right on the ledge, but... Yeah. So what was the benefit in coming over here? Just a look? I don't see anything. There's really nothing there, then. I kind of like how the, the game's going back between we have this timeline and then the current. It's kind of interesting to see the two. It has a handle, but we can't pull it. Nothing there.
love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. Oh yeah, I came over here with his dad too. I remember this. Okay, so I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't. We'll see. So, like I was saying, don't I? Knock it off. <sighs> Look at this old thing. Ugh, busted. It's his dad's. Oh, there they are. Where's Linda? We already went that way, right? We're going this way. I think this is it. Up there. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. Way to go, everybody! <clears throat> uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. <clears throat> huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. 
Did you see something? No, there was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Get, ah, get off me! Get. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie! Disagree. Not cool! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, a and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, 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 I mean, uh, <clears throat> Linda? Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Chris needs to chill out. Find the door to the furnace chamber. Oh, way over there. We can't go in there. We're not going through there. This is a good question on how do we get over there? Here's our little trinket box. So is that all that was over here? I don't think we can get up any of these. Yeah, we're not going that way. I thought for sure this was gonna get us somewhere, but I guess not. Maybe we can go around. in there we can't get in there though we're gonna have to find our way in interesting can't climb through a window maybe Maybe not. I'm not going that way. Cannot go through there. I'm guessing you have to get a handle or something. Let's look around. Oh, wait. Never mind.
That doesn't go anywhere. There's got to be a handle around here somewhere. Oh, isn't that where his dad went in? Maybe we can use this to pry the door open. That's probably going to work. At least I would think. Do a quick check. Nothing over here. It's obviously where we came from, so let's head back. See if we can get in now. There we go. Well, we at least get that, I guess. Yep, there's number seven. I have a feeling four and five might have been the other route. So I guess you would have missed one or the other. We still got to find a way into that furnace room. I don't know if we can use the grate again and go in that way or I mean there's nothing really over here. I don't know if we can go back the way we came. came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's different. Oh, we got another one. How in the world do you get that? I don't think you can jump. That's like down there where Frank is. Oh, what's this? Talk to Chris. Yeah, as of right now, there's no way over there. You can open that? Nope. That's the only one, so... I have a feeling we're going to get over there at some point. 
Because you're going to get power to that and then it's going to move it, I would think. Probably have to find a crank or something. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set? And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <sighs> and cut! Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. So, oh, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. 
I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Holy... What can you see? Uh, something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Ah, rats. What's up? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. That did it? Okay, let me get more. Oh. Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. Think that door will take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. Let's go take a look. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night we're in the abandoned still mill, where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but... He sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional? Like, acupuncture? With all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean, like, occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. All right, before we go through that door, since it's telling us that's where the machine shop is, it's hilarious. I want to see what else is over here. I don't know if we sh before we shot that scene, we should have looked around. It's still showing that up there. To figure out how to get that other piece. But... I think you had to do something to Dead find another end. one of these. Not this way. Why these things is it are always creepy. clowns? <laughs> yeah, no thank you.
What is that? Oh, it's locked. We can use the item. Aha. Uh -huh. So we can grab that, which, what does that do? Looks like we're going to need it to get up there. Since those stairs are broken. Let's see what's over here, too. Yeah, I think this is how we get to that. What is this? Or maybe this is how you get to that. Interesting. get through there? Doesn't look like it. That's kind of in the way. So you can't move these anymore. You also can't climb either. That's kind of weird because Although it doesn't really go anywhere, so I don't know. I don't know what pulling these out does. It looks like you would go across, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. I think we need to take it over here. my guess. So maybe that'll get you... I don't know. This is like going a completely different route. Oh yeah, that got that got us nothing. Oh, we can squeeze through here. All right. There's something else over here. All right, so we did. We had to do that first. Oh, this is always so hard. a ladder there. Alright. Jump. There was nothing there. <laughs> now that kind of looked like it's not telling us which one it is, so I don't know. Can you get back down from here? Doesn't look like it. Oh wait, it says use. There we go. Alright, we got what we needed. Now we can head this way. Wait a second. Guy
guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap, it is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Gotta be a way to get up there. Like, do they not see the directions to where this, the arrows that said machine shop? Is that only for, for us players? They acted so surprised. So that's the way we came in. Wait, was that glowing? No. Not going that way. You can go down there. I don't know if it's really anything. Maybe. All right, nothing showing up. Walk around here and then we can go down there if we need to. Uh oh. This should open the door, right? No power. Uh oh. Maybe there's something useful in there. Yeah, we got keys, so. Let's see what Robert found? All right, I want to go down here to the train just to see if there's anything there. If it'll let me. Doesn't look like it. Although we can't walk underneath it though. All right, nothing there. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. Can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. 
Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like... Just us. So... I'm just in the way. Come on, you're not gonna act like this, are you? All right, look. The truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. All right, let's go find some parts. This might work with the generator. I still don't know how we get over there. Because I think the door is right there, right? Yeah. So, I mean, unless you break the window, you're not going in that way. We need to find some parts. Yeah, we're working on it. All right, here we go. Could help with the generator. How's the generator coming? Basically done. Just got to finish the repairs. All right, so we need to go... Over here, right? Because that's where it was. Uh-oh. We're going to have skill check. Remove some repair progress. All right. Well, that didn't work well. Man, that window is so small. door is 
see what that what that key goes to that's in there. Oh yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Find a way into the office. We're gonna be using one of these again. Alright, let's see if there's anything. Door's locked. Maybe there's another way in there. Is it that? I don't know. I don't see anything else. Doesn't this go back out there, though? Maybe not. Guess not. Where's his flashlight? Alright, we're going up there. Guess there's nothing else. through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Doesn't look like there's anything down here. Or in here. Alright, jump down. Okay. What have we here? Oh, that's our trinket box. So do we get... Oh, we did get number four. Okay. So we're still looking for five. But that was probably the Frank Stone one. So we got the key. So, what do you unlock, little key? F Stone. Lock the boxcar? Interesting. So nothing else in here. Nope. Find anything? Yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. <sighs> oh man. 